Federal investigators are calling a VA process unwarranted and costly. We found out that veterans are sometimes asked to undergo a second examination that might not be needed, and you're paying for it. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buteau joining us in studio with that story. Keith and Jen, frustrating for veterans to find out a second examination they were put through wasn't needed. It costs them time, and for taxpayers, it adds up to millions of dollars wasted. During Operation Iraqi Freedom two decades ago, Bill Sturbinski volunteered with the Marines and was sent to Iraq. He tells us he had several close calls there, including surviving a helicopter crash. He's now an attorney specializing in denied VA claims and says he's seen the impact of the VA taking another look at cases in what are known as re-examinations. I've seen it delay cases as much as six to seven extra months. Uh, we've seen cases where they have nothing's been done to them. There might be a, a medical opinion um, in the file and no decision has been rendered for sometimes up to a year. We found out federal investigators have reported for years that VA re-examinations are often unwarranted and costly. In 2018, the Office of Inspector General found unwarranted re-examinations were requested in 37% of cases during one six-month period. That cost taxpayers more than $10 million. The problem may have gotten worse according to an investigation released this year. The OIG reported one sample of cases showed 66% of the re-examinations were unwarranted. VA leaders agreed with the findings and recommendations to reduce unwarranted re-examinations by improving guidance for processors, better define processors' duties, and to update training. Sturbinsky hopes it gets better in the future, but he and his clients are still frustrated by the past. You can look at veterans, you can say, yeah, you, you basically, at a, at a, on a good day, you have a 66% chance that your claim is going to be handled wrong. So in the reverse, you got a 40% chance. The less than half of your claims you're going to put in are going to be handled correctly. And the VA admitted in that report the unwarranted exams cause a hardship for the patients, reduced efficiency for staff, and slowed down claims for everybody. Well, did the VA offer any time frame on when they might make some of these changes? Yeah, so it sounds like good news. The target date for reducing the re-examinations re is the end of this year. That's not too far away. The other recommendations are set to be in place by next spring, and OIG is expected to take another look at this issue sometime after that. But it's been a problem for years, including recently. So. All right. All right. Thank you, Walt. Okay, thank you. If you have something you want Walt to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline at 1-800-338-0808.